What's up guys, this is the Galaxy's Greatest YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below on your thoughts. I'm here for my week 3 predictions and with me today is not Nico, but it's a local Philadelphia Eagles fan, Hagi! Woo! What's up guys? So, um, let's get right into the week 3 picks. Uh, last week, I went a very disappointing 4-12. and 12. I believe you went 7-9. and 9. I'm yep. currently... 15 and 17 on the season, and you are 18 and 14. Number one. Yeah, number one. So uh, let's get into the Thursday night game, Washington at the New York Giants. Um, Giants at 0-2, but they're on, but they're at home against a relatively easy team against the Redskins. I, I think they're going to pull this one out. I, I agree. As much as I'd like to see Washington pull this win off, I got to say New York's going to have it. All right, so there we go. We believe New York will go one and two. Atlanta at Dallas. Um, Atlanta is without Tony Romo. They recently traded for Matt Castle, but I believe Brandon Whedon will still be the starting quarterback. Uh, two. Both of these teams are two and zero. Oh. I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons in an upset. I will agree because a deep Dallas's secondary is no match for Atlanta's receiving core. Uh, I'm I, I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty good game, but uh, I'm taking the Falcons in an upset. New Orleans at Carolina. New Orleans is just falling apart, even with with Drew Brees. They're not even going to have Drew Brees in this game. Uh, I like Carolina. I'm taking Cam and the Panthers. Cam, oh Cam, that was for Nico. Um, oh, by the way, I should probably go over Nico's picks. Uh, he picks the Giants, the Falcons, and the Panthers along with us. Uh, Eagles at the Jets. Uh, the Eagles have been very disappointing thus far, and this, and the Jets have really been showing a lot. I'm going to take the New York Jets because that's probably one of the best defenses in the NFL. The Eagles... Also have a top and possibly underrated defense. I could see this game getting pretty ugly and low scoring, but uh, I want to take the Jets in a close one. I, of course, will take the Eagles. As, of course, a lot of Eagles fans probably remember back in 2003, they also started out 0-2. And then while on a plane to Buffalo, they had turbulence, got scared, bounced back, and then went up winning like 13 games in a row. So, I will say that Philly bounces back and gets their first win of the season. Uh, N Nico also took the Jets in this game. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Houston Texans. One of these teams is 0-2, and, and it's not the Buccaneers. Um, I'm going to say Houston will get their first one of the season. I will also go with Houston, also, because I feel J.J. Watt is going to get a lot of pressure on the new rookie quarterback that Tampa has. Yeah, Jameis Winston. Uh, I think this could be a pretty nice defensive game to watch, but, uh... I'm going to go with the home field advantage and take Houston. Nico picked Tampa Bay. San Diego at Minnesota. Uh, I'm looking for the Chargers to bounce back here. I say Minnesota takes this one to the house. Nico also said San Diego. Uh, Pittsburgh at St. Louis. This is going to be uh, this is going to be an interesting game. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this game turned out to be low scoring. This game could turn out to be high scoring. Who knows what could happen. But I do think this will be a close game. In St. Louis, it's going to be tough, but I think my Pittsburgh Steelers are going to pull this one out. I also feel like it'll be a very good and close game, but I'm going to go with the home field advantage and say St. Louis. Nico picked Pittsburgh Steelers. Jacksonville at New England. As much as I hate to say it, this is going to be an easy game for New England. I'd love to see Jacksonville win. Though. I would love to see Jacksonville win too, but... uh. I gotta go with my gut instead of my heart, so I'm gonna take the New England Patriots. New England Patriots. Nico also picks the Patriots. The Cincinnati Bengals at the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Cincy two and zero, and Baltimore surprisingly zero and two. Uh, without Terrell Suggs, they're they've been struggling. Yeah, I agree with you there. I'm taking Cincy for the win. And I want Cincy to win, but uh, something's telling me to pick Baltimore because both of their games so far have been on the road. And Baltimore is, this is their home opener. That's this is a must win for Baltimore for sure. So I'm, something's telling me to take Baltimore in an upset, even though I'd probably prefer, some, well, honestly, I just wish <laughs> both of these teams would lose. But I mean, I'm a Steelers a fan, of course. Yeah, it's it a could be a tie. Game, but but um, can 
I'm going to take the Ravens in this one. Uh, Nico picks Cincinnati. Oakland at Cleveland. Now, I was going to pick Cleveland in this game because Manziel's on a hot streak and Oakland doesn't do so well on 1 o'clock games on the road. But the starting quarterback will be Josh McCown returning from injury and I think the Oakland Raiders will be able to get the job done with McCown as quarterback for the Browns. I feel the same way. I'm taking Oakland. Yeah, so me, Hog, and Nico all pick the Oakland Raiders. Hey. Uh, Bobo. She said, that, she said whenever you're ready. Huh? La- ladies and gentlemen, ready. this girl, is Bobo. Old girl, old girlfriend of mine man says, whenever. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm doing a video for YouTube. Yeah! Dan and Dan. Dan and yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right. So now uh, we're going to go to the next game. Uh, Indianapolis at Tennessee, and Indy has been really struggling thus yes. far in the season. Shockingly, they're also 0-2. Yes, but uh, I'm going to say Indianapolis will get their first win. And I also agree. I think this will be a close game. It's in Tennessee, so it's not going to be that easy for the Colts. And Marcus Mariota has been doing a heck of a job, and he'll probably light it up against their defense. But I think Indy's offense will be just a little better this game. Yeah, I feel Andrew Luck's going to light it up. All right, but uh, Nico will be picking Tennessee for this game, so he's going against us. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Arizona Cardinals. It's in Arizona, so I it's easy for me to pick. Arizona's, I'd actually say Arizona's probably the number two team just right behind Green Bay in the league so far. So Arizona. I'm going to take Arizona easily. Uh, and Nico agrees with us. Chicago at Seattle, the battle of two 0 and two teams. Um, Shockingly, I'm I'm easily going to say Seattle. It's in Seattle. It's Seattle. I agree. It's it's just too easy to say. Buffalo at Miami. I'm really looking forward to this game as well. Uh, really good rivalry game. It's a real shame one of these teams are going to have to have a one and two record because these are both really good teams. But uh. In the end, I have to go with home field advantage and take the Miami Dolphins. Miami. But Nico picked Buffalo. Uh, Sunday Night Football on NBC. Denver Broncos at the Detroit Lions. Now, um, Detroit has been on a cold streak lately. But they've yet to have a home game. This is their first home game. And in my upset of the week, I'm going to take the Detroit Lions... Steal one away from Denver. I'm going to go, on the other hand, say Denver, because after their awesome game they had last week, just barely pulling it off, but still doing so, I'm going to go with Peyton Manning and the Broncos and say they pull it off. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this was also a defensive game. I'm probably going to end up losing this pick anyway, but I'm, I'm just going to take Detroit in the upset because, you know, why not? Should be a good game. And Monday Night Football, what could possibly be game of the week, the Kansas City Chiefs will be on the road to take on the Green Bay Packers. Um, I'm going to take Green Bay simply for home field advantage. And Aaron Rodgers is just the best quarterback in the league, and I can't deny it. I'm going to go with KC on this one. I'm going to say they pull off an upset in Lambeau. They do have a week and a half to prepare. That too. You could pretty much say they have half a bye week, so... I. I won't argue, but uh, my gut's telling me Green Bay. Should be a good game. All right, uh, before we wrap up this video, any last thoughts? <clears throat> go Eagles. Woo! And I'll finish by saying go Steelers. Woo! So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the Galaxy's Greatest, and leave a comment. I'd I like to see what you guys think of the week. So with that said, we'll see you later. Woo!